are, we are just exactly as everybody else. We have the same ability as everybody else. It's an untapped talent. Looking for a job, maybe, but it was always hard to find one because most of the jobs are not really uh, able to allow you to speak people for work because they require interpreters. A lot of people see this, they don't see this. Just because I'm in a wheelchair, or even if you're visually impaired or hearing impaired, it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean we can't do the job. It's just we have to do it maybe in a different way. And it takes a lot of courage and a lot of moxie to get yourself back up there and, you know, get back to looking for work. I, I can't think of too much that can really devastate a person than joblessness. So when I couldn't work, I felt like I, I don't have my identity anymore. Like, I'm nobody. Who am I? When it, when it actually happened, it was, a, it was a big shock when I walked out the door and uh, never to come back again because, uh, you know, being a uh, videographer was, was my identity, right? My life. And it was over like that. If you live with a disability, there is a 60% chance you were unemployed. It's all about seeing that person achieve that wonderful success because what happens is, is you're helping people put their lives back together because most of the people that we serve live below the poverty line. Most people with a disability survive on about $1,000 per month. In the U.S., the federal government, the state governments, the county governments, and the city governments, they are the ones that have the highest number of people with disabilities. In Canada, that is not the case. And I am very surprised by that. The talent pool of people with disabilities in Canada who are unemployed or who have never had a job is the largest demographic of unemployed people in the country. What needs to happen is accommodations need to occur for everybody to be able to work. What we're trying to do is get employers to think outside the box, to hire a person with a disability, to see what the benefits are. One of the, the best things that we will always look back on is, is this environment that we've created and uh, that people have enjoyed working for us. So those people who uh, traditionally would be kept at home on benefits or working in a sheltered workshop um, are now working in the private sector um, earning at, at least minimum wage to begin with um, and living, living a full life. $41 billion, that's the spending power of Canadians with disabilities plus their families and friends. It's a core strategy that businesses really should embrace. There is a massive, untapped, highly skilled market sitting out there, yet we're trying to figure out ways as Canadian employers to deal with the labour shortage. Talent Untapped, a film by Anna Karina Tabunyar. Join the shift and learn more at annakarinatabunyar.com.